You know, they go around until they get dizzy, they got nothing to do. Right? They say, you know, this is, you know, we dhikr, Allah, Allah, Allah. How are they, you know, beating themselves? I don't know where these people came from and, and they claim to be among the masses of the Muslims. We got funny individuals. Go to YouTube. Don't even go to YouTube. But because there's so much evil there. Uh, but if you're able to go and Google these things and go strictly to the video, you will not believe some of the things you see. I mean, people, you know, dancing and doing all kinds of funny stuff in the name of Islam. And they consider this what? Worship to Allah. Just like the Christians in church. In some other countries, without naming them, if you were to go to church on Sunday, you would think it's a disco. They got pianos, guitars, and the whole, you know, there's a whole musical band. And you know, people screaming on their thing and crying, hallelujah and all this. What is this? A party. It's not worshipping. This is this people having a good time listening to music. So this is their concept of what? Praising the Lord. So we have Muslims who follow the footsteps that Prophet Sallallahu told us. The point being, if you're saying that you're just being thankful to Allah, you have to be thankful to Allah in a way which He legislated. So now this very intent of yours is an innovation. And this doubtful matter becomes clear. But why was it doubtful for, for that individual? His understanding of fiqh was not there. He did not know what was the intent behind the Quran and the Sunnah when they brought these teachings of what? The distinction and the individuality of Muslims in comparison to the people around them. We are unique, we are special, we are superior. We say this with confidence. Allah made us as an ummah like that. So we don't follow those who are beneath us. We don't imitate those who Allah does not love or is not pleased with. Otherwise, this is misunderstanding of the deen. You see what I'm saying? So if you have this understanding, you could clarify many misconceptions in terms of our conduct. <coughs> do I do this because the kuffar do it or not? then we have to go to the basic understandings of Islam. What if, if you understood this concept of worshipping Allah is conditional to a textual evidence, then you will know that even the birthday as a means of thanking Allah is no longer lawful. Not because it's imitating the kuffar or otherwise, because they will be able to answer that. With that, you can remove this doubtful matter and it moves on to the uh, category of haram. Because innovations are halal or haram? Haram. <coughs> Thirdly, Lack of contemplation. What is contemplation? <coughs> Pondering, reflecting. Sometimes we haste. We don't think long enough. And when we don't think enough, we come up with funny stuff. Uh, just recently, uh, a beloved brother of mine, who is a revert to Islam, it appears from his name at least, who I'm been corresponding with via email. Uh, he always has different questions in some other country. I don't know what the country is. <coughs> he sent a question that said, Brother, I have a serious problem. Khair. That's what you say. Khair. May Allah make it good. He said, I do not understand how can Allah punish someone in the hellfire for eternity. How is it that Allah will not show mercy to these people at some point in time. I believe, or I've heard that some say, that at some point in time, they will be taken out from Jahannam. Okay? This was the issue. Please advise, comment, you know, guide me <coughs> in this area. Now, if you think about it, right now when you heard it, huh, what happened to you? You're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is right. Is it possible that Allah will, you know, Allah Rahman Rahim, He will leave someone in Jahannam forever? Huh? What does the shaitan start doing? Try to whisper nonsense. So we will be, it, become, it becomes doubtful. Even though this is from the aqil of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Huh? Khalidina fiha. They shall, abide, they shall abide therein eternally. Okay? There's no doubt. I'm not going to give you a lecture about the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah is people who enter Jahannam among the kuffar shall never go out. Never go out. The Muslims, they will go in, then once they pay their. <coughs> The consequences of their sins, they will be taken to Jannah. The disbelievers, no. But let's contemplate. Have you contemplated on this before? Before we came to this conclusion? I will give you two approaches. One which I have mentioned before, and one which I have not mentioned before. <coughs> the first one, I mentioned before. You hire an employee. And you give him all, you know, you invest in him. The company is going out of business, out of business. Big company. And they have... 50,000 riyals or not even, more than that, left. 
And the only way they can, they can grow and boom as a business is by hiring an IT who will be able to develop a software for them which will make them superior to the contending and uh, uh, competing businesses around them. So they find this unique individual who's qualified and has everything that he needs. They get in touch with him, you know, they contact him, say, listen, we want to hire you. We will give you everything. We will spend the last halala we have in you. So you may develop the software. Please, this business is multi, you know, uh, expensive, you know, multi-million businesses going out of business. We need your help. We will give you a castle. You will have six cars. As soon as you land, we'll get you married to the most beautiful woman in our city. Marriage, hypothetically speaking. But it doesn't happen in real life. Uh, you name it. You want clothes, we will give you. You want you know, leadership, we will give you. Everything you want shall be given to you. Please, just develop this what? The software. For the purpose of what? <coughs> Enhancing and saving this business from destruction. And indeed, they, this, this uh, deal materializes. They get the man, he comes over or from overseas to the kingdom or whatever, and they give him all the tools and the machines and the, the PC, everything is high, state of the art, high tech. Just put together this software. And he starts working. <coughs> In the process of his work, he meets an employee who works at one of the contending businesses, one of their competitions. And he starts feeling very bad for this helpless employee who is also suffering with this company, right? <coughs> so he decides that he will develop this software and then give it as a gift to the other employee. He does. He develops it. He says, this is a gift for you, for you and your business to grow and boom. Thank you very much. The next day, the other business is making you know millions of riyals and our friends you know company is asking about their software hey this was today was the deadline where's the software oh the software yeah 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 I finished it but I gave it to my friend who works for this business across the street huh. what would they do to him celebration let's have a party oh great news man thanks what would they do to him now, of course, if the manager had a shotgun, you know that it would be right over, right then and there, right? Somebody would shoot him. Uh, <coughs> but worst case scenario, if they didn't shoot him because they don't want to go to jail, this person will be persecuted in the worst ways possible. They will try to damage him, damage his family, destroy his career, destroy his life. And if they were able to keep him in prison until he dies, they will not give him any mercy. They will say, he deserves it. Why? You've utilized our bounties and you had given them, huh? you served someone else. If this is the case with a human being, company, and some fulus, then what about the condition of the son of Adam with his Lord? Allah created him, gave him life, sustenance. In fact, every breath that this person breathed was by the will of Allah. He has no control of it. He made sure his mother loved him enough to nurse him and be patient with him. Otherwise, all infants will be thrown out the window from the first day. If, if women had no patience, if women had no patience after a few hours of crying, maybe somebody would open the window and throw away the baby. I don't need to deal with this anymore. Life was good before this baby came. But what do they have? Patience. He cries and he cries and he...